What's up everyone, I'm Rose and welcome back to my channel, the number one place for financial education, empowerment, and inspiration. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to do socially responsible investing so that you can invest and put your money to work without compromising your values. Thankfully, there are a lot of socially responsible investing options out there so that you can make a great return on your money while also taking care of the environment, being ethical and things like that. Because nobody wants to be a greedy, evil person who only cares about making money. Don't you care that you're investing in things that support gun violence, wars, and global warming? No, all I care about is this. <sighs> First, I'm gonna talk about what socially responsible investing is, then I'm gonna show you how to do socially responsible investing. And finally, I'll also talk about how socially responsible investing compares to regular investing in terms of the returns you can expect from your investments. So with that, let's get right into it. I wanna start off by defining socially responsible investing because this is a very loose term that can mean different things to different people. So let's get clear on it. In general, it means investing in companies that do good things in the world, or at least companies that aren't doing bad things in the world. Back in the day, this used to be as simple as excluding companies that manufacture guns or sell alcohol, tobacco, or do gambling. But we all know that being socially responsible means so much more than that. It's a lot more nuanced. So over the years, socially responsible investing has become a lot more sophisticated. And now investors can actually use a set of quantifiable metrics called ESG to make investing decisions. ESG stands for environmental, social, and governance. And it's a set of quantifiable metrics assessed by kind of outside data researchers. And they assess companies and give them an ESG score. And this score has three components. E is for the environmental component of their score. And this can mean that the company is actively doing things to reduce carbon emissions or fight climate change. It can also mean that the company is moving towards renewable energy sources and just anything of that nature. The S in ESG stands for social factors. So this part of the score will assess how a company treats its employees, also how it treats its stakeholders, vendors, just anyone who's involved with the company. Generally, a company with a high score in the S category has things like fair wages, good working conditions in its factories, in other words, no sweatshops, and it treats its customers well, and things like that. And then the last part of the ESG score, the G, which stands for governance, tells you how honest the company is in terms of you know, how likely they are to do anything that's corrupt or do fraud, cooking its books, or paying its CEOs ridiculous compensation at the expense of its shareholders and things like that. So altogether, the ESG criteria helps investors find companies with values that match their own. And every company gets an ESG score, and I'll show you in just a minute where to look it up. But as you will see, no company is actually 100% in all categories of the ESG score. So it's important for you to decide what is important to you. Is it environment? Is it companies that promote equality and diversity? Are you really passionate about human rights or animal welfare? Everyone has something that is important to them. For me, it's the environment and gender equality. So I really love investing in companies that score high in those categories. So I want you to let me know, just drop it in the comments because it's really cool to hear how other people are reflecting their values in their investing. So drop it below and let me know which, which of the values are most important to you. So now that we've defined what socially responsible investing is, and now that you know that there's actually a quantifiable score that tells you exactly how socially responsible a company is, now let's talk about how to actually do it. There's three ways to invest in a socially responsible manner. The first way is by investing in the individual stocks of companies that you know are socially responsible. The way you would do that is by first checking the ESG score of that company. So for example, if you want to invest in Apple, then what you can do is go to Yahoo Finance, type in the ticker of the stock that you want to look up. So we're looking at Apple, you type in AAPL, and then you go to the sustainability tab of their stock page. And there you'll find their ESG score all laid out for you. So you see that Apple scores 
pretty much above average relative to their peers, and they have a pretty high score in both the E, S, and G categories. So you know right then and there that this is a good ESG score and that Apple is doing a lot in all three areas of socially responsible responsibility. Another thing you can do is to check if the company that you're considering investing in is involved in any sort of activity that might automatically be deemed not socially responsible. So for example, if you're totally against animal testing and you're considering investing in, I don't know, Pfizer, then you type in their stock ticker into the Yahoo Finance search bar, go to their sustainability tab as usual, and you can scroll a little bit down and you'll see whether this company is involved in any of these sort of red flag activities. So you see here it says, you know, they, they're not involved in weapons or gun making or tobacco, but they are involved in animal testing. It says yes. So that would be a, a way for you to immediately know whether this is a socially responsible company or not. So investing in individual stocks is probably the most customizable way to, in, to do socially responsible investing. However, that's not for everyone because you also need to know how to assess individual companies and do research and all of that. So if you're more of an index fund diversification kind of person, then this next strategy is for you. This next strategy where you invest in socially responsible index funds is a really easy way to just have a fund do all the screening for you so that you know that whatever you have in that fund is already screened for things like tobacco, alcohol, gambling, weapons, GMO, nuclear power companies, and they've also done an additional measure of screening for high ESG scores. For example, these three ETFs, ESGD, ESGE and SUSA are ETFs that give you exposure to the world stock markets, but they're already pre-screened to have only companies that have high ESG scores. If you invest in any of these three ETFs, you can rest assured that all the companies in there are going to be relatively high in the ESG category and doing their best to contribute to the environment and equal pay, social causes, and and governance. However, if for example, if you are really, really passionate about environmental causes and carbon emissions and reducing and preventing climate change, if that is what's most important to you, then you can invest in an ETF that specializes in low carbon companies. For example, the CRBN ETF. And this is a, a fund that has already pre-screened the universe of companies for basically only the companies that are that have really low carbon emissions. Another example of this very specific type of socially responsible investing is if you're very passionate about gender diversity, which that is something that I'm very passionate about, then you could invest in the SHE ETF or SHE, which is the Spider Gender Diversity Index Fund. And this is a list of companies that really is kind of being progressive in the area of putting women in leadership positions. So if that's important to you, then this is one possible stock market fund that you can have in your portfolio. Now, these are all exchange traded funds. If you're more into mutual funds, then this, this is another list that you could look into. CSXAX, which is a fund of large cap companies in the US and again, it's been screened for some really strict socially responsible metrics. There's also the GCINX. This is the Green Century MSCI International Index Fund. This fund is especially good with investing in companies that are really green. So if you're very passionate about the environment, then this is one stock fund you can look into. If you're really passionate about women's leadership and equality, then the PXWEX fund, the PAX Elevate Global Women's Leadership Fund, is another one that you can look into. And last but not least, the Parnassus Endeavor Fund, P-A-R-W-X. This is a fund that sort of hits all the categories. It's very green, advances women's leadership, and scores high in ESG metrics. The number of socially responsible investing funds is small compared to the overall universe of funds. However, these are ones that I've done a lot of research on, and I've done my best to find funds that have really low expense ratios so that the fees aren't that much higher than investing in regular funds. I'll also type the tickers in the description box below so you can, and link to the pages so that you can easily look them up.
Now the third way to do it, and this is probably the easiest, quickest way to do socially responsible investing, is to invest through robo-advisors. Robo-advisors are automated financial advisors, and they're usually in the form of mobile investing apps, and you just deposit some money and they create this whole investment portfolio that's designed for your age and your risk profile and your goals. And some of these robo-advisors are offering socially responsible investing portfolios. For example, Betterment, and I actually did a video about Betterment. Um, also, Elvest is a woman-focused robo-advisor that also offers an impact portfolio. I also did another video about Elvest. So you can check that out for more information. But these robo-advisors offer socially responsible investing portfolios so that you don't have to decide which funds to use or what proportion to buy them in. All you have to do is just invest in their socially responsible investing portfolio. So I would say if you really don't know anything about investing, you're just sort of getting your feet wet in it, then a robo-advisor that offers socially responsible investing options could be the easiest way for you to go. Moving right along, now let's talk about how socially responsible investing compares to regular investing. I sincerely hope we're moving towards a future where there's actually no such thing as socially responsible investing. I wish that all investing is just socially responsible investing because everything and everyone is socially responsible. That's just a rant for another day, but one day all companies are going to be socially responsible and there's going to be no such thing as socially responsible and not socially responsible. But until then, we still want to know, is being socially responsible, is that a good way to invest and is there any negative impact on your returns? The good news is actually there is a positive impact on your returns. First of all, socially responsible investing is just common sense. There's so many examples of companies that weren't socially responsible that had catastrophic disasters that lost them a lot of money. For example, you might remember when TransOcean they were the oil drilling company that was responsible for the Deepwater Horizon oil spill in 2010. If you see TransOcean, if you look them up on Yahoo Finance, they have a very low ESG score. They've always had a low score and they still do. And in 2010, they had this huge oil spill off the coast of Alaska and it just, it just completely destroyed the oceans, cost them billions of dollars in repairs, not to mention their stock price dropped from $92 to $44 in the aftermath. So if anyone thinks being socially responsible means lower returns, then you're wrong. Another example is with Lehman Brothers, one of the major banks that collapsed and was sort of the catalyst for the 2008 financial crisis. As Christine Lagarde, the managing director of the IMF once said, if it had been Lehman Sisters instead of Lehman Brothers, it would have been a very different outcome. So what she's referring to is a company that has gender diversity, in other words, a high score in the, in the S factor of the ESG score, they are more prone to not make huge mistakes and have groupthink that results in big financial disasters like we experienced in 2008. Basically, the bottom line is being socially responsible results in good outcomes for the investors and for the company and for the stock price. So it's not just woo woo, nice to have stuff. It's important to be socially responsible so that we don't have things like Lehman Brothers collapsing and the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. There's numerous studies and articles that say companies with strong ESG scores outperform, but let's see what the actual data says. According to a Morningstar report, indexes that track the stock of socially responsible companies have actually performed in line with conventional stock market indexes, and actually they've even done better. As you can see in this chart, the MSCI KLD 400 index which is a version of the S&P 500, but it's been screened for socially responsible investing stocks only. This index slightly outperformed the S&P over time. So that's good to know. Investing in socially responsible companies does not mean you have to take lower returns, and in fact, could actually mean higher returns. At the end of the day, your investment money has a voice. And when you don't buy the stocks of bad companies that aren't taking care of the world, then that increases their costs of funding, it's bad for their stock price, and it makes it harder for those companies to do business. In this video, I've gone over the three strategies where you can do socially responsible investing on your own. One, by investing in individual stocks of companies that have high ESG scores. Two, by investing in any one of those funds that I listed, the socially responsible investing funds. 
Or three, choosing a robo-advisor that offers a socially responsible investing portfolio. Did you like this video? If so, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel and it helps get the video in front of more people so we can spread financial literacy and spread the message of socially responsible investing. To learn more about money and investing, check out these videos right here. And I also post new videos like this every Wednesday. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next Wednesday, same time, same place.